producers. Hey everyone, this is Edwin and today we are back in the studio for a new video. Today I'm going to take Arcade's challenge. He challenged me and two other producers, not necessarily producers, to make a track using his own melody without changing the melody at all. So he will react to my track and to the two other producers tracks. I will leave a link in the description below. So the rules are pretty simple. You can change the melody, you can change the chords and you can change the BPM which is originally 100. I really want to win this challenge. Arcade, I hope you will like this one. <laughs> of course I will leave the link to this FL Studio project in the description below so that you guys can download it. First of all, let's do a little prayer to FL Studio God. FL Studio God, please help me win this challenge. Give me inspiration, give me good presets. And most importantly, don't crash this time. FL Studio God, thank you. So we've done the prayer, now let's listen to the original melody with the chords. So I really like this melody, good job Arcade. Nice. It sounds a bit classical, like classical music, classical juicer. So the BPM is 100, the melody is pretty happy, especially in the beginning. So, I think I will go for something happy and chill. Tropical house is a good idea. Yes, good idea, guys. So I'll go for something a bit tropical. Adding some reverb on my drums. Now I'll take the lowest note and I will turn them into a nice bass line. So I want to make this bass a little bit more interesting. I want to make it stand out a bit more noise. I'm adding an envelope modulator on the cutoff of the filter of the bass. What this means is it will act on the frequency at which the filter is set on the bass. Here I have a low pass filter, it's taking all the high end from the bass out, like like this, when I speak like this. It will push this frequency up for as long as the decay is set to. So I'm setting the decay to half, let's say, for the first millisecond that the bass is playing each note, the filter will stay up and then it will go down, something like this. Is it clear enough? I hope so. Now we have a nice bass. Let's assign it to a bus here. Bass. And let's add some sidechain to it. Like this. quickly removing the very low end from the bass, the very high end too, and I'm compressing the bass with a limiter. Let's take the fruity limiter. And now I will just make a copy of this bass to create my sub bass. Don't ever, never forget the sub bass. I will turn all the high end down. Like this. And I'm removing the cutoff envelope like this. Also, I'm adding some sidechain to it. For the sub bass, I like a stronger sidechain. Now, 
let's make this piano a little bit more exciting. So for this I will replace it with a nice Nexus piano. Kaigo uses Nexus pianos. Removing the very low end from the piano, adding a nice stereo enhancer. Now some sidechain as well. Now I'm duplicating this one and I'm adding a xylophone. Xylophone. This will sound much more tropical all of a sudden. You will see. And I'm adding a strumming effect here to make it sound a bit more organic. Signing it to its own channel and I will also add some stereo shaping on this one. And some nice reverb. Removing the very low end here. Some OTT. OTT can never hurt if you set it not too hard. OTT basically is a compressor, upward, downward compressor, which sounds really nice on the lead and on all your instruments, basically. If you need a bit more punch. I will also add some compression on my piano. For this, I will use this one, which is free TDR feedback compressor. And I'm setting the threshold a bit lower, ratio up, and most importantly, attack a bit higher. Now I think my bass needs a bit more high end, so I will turn this up a little bit. And since it's a bit too long now, I will turn it down a little bit. Now I want to make my piano notes a little bit shorter to have a bit more groove here. I still think my bass sounds a bit dull, a bit too much in the background. I want to make it stand out a little bit more. For this I will change this wave to a saw instead of a sine. Turning this one octave up so it doesn't interfere too much with sub bass. Playing around with a cutoff a little bit. Turning the kick up a little bit. Now the most interesting part, the pluck. Let's tag some layers. So here is what we got now. So I'm adding an M1 instrument here and I would choose a nice plug here. So let's choose a mallet, bell. Let's take something ethnic. Sounds pretty. Noise. I will add this layer as a lead pluck and remove the, the low end here. Let's stack some layers. Something very important here, let's add a nice flute here. Pan flute! Can't be a good tropical house track without a nice flute user. Still lacks something, I will stack a layer more and for this I will be using Harmless. Playing the same notes as the piano. 
And finally, lady deucers and gentlemen deucers, here is the final result. So that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed this challenge, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you are not part of the producer family yet, let me know in the comments down below who you think is the winner of this challenge deucer, check out Arcade's video for his reaction to this video and let us know if you want more of these kind of challenges. The Freddy Roos project is also available in the description below. Also I'm launching my Christmas deucer merch. Make sure to check it out, link in description below on my website broducerbyedwan.com which is the best website for producer. Hey, we need a producer anthem. And of course, don't forget to pray to the FLs, to the yoga. Oh